This is your Apple Security Month in Review for September 2017, brought to you by Intego. Coming up, we've got news about Apple's latest operating systems, a Mac vulnerability that could let attackers steal your passwords, and could a dolphin attack hijack Siri? Keep watching to find out. Apple has just released major updates to all of its operating systems. macOS High Sierra version 10.13 is now available for compatible Macs. iOS 11 is out for all recent models of the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Apple also released tvOS 11 for recent Apple TV models, and watchOS 4 for all models of the Apple Watch. To protect your data and keep your devices safe from known attacks, be sure to update all of your Apple devices to the latest operating system as soon as practical. macOS High Sierra includes a feature called User Approved Kernel Extension Loading, also known as Secure Kernel Extension Loading, or SKEL. The feature is intended to make it more difficult for an attacker to load powerful kernel extensions into the operating system. Mac security researcher Patrick Wardle has discovered that High Sierra's SKEL is, unfortunately, not so secure after all, at least in its initial implementation. Wardle notes that although Apple has done several things to make it more difficult for kernel extensions to be installed surreptitiously in High Sierra, all it takes is for an attacker to find a single flaw to bypass those protections, and Wardle has found just such a flaw. Since the vulnerability has not yet been patched, Wordle is holding off on releasing the full technical details of his exploit. Is this a reason to avoid upgrading to High Sierra? No, not at all. The advantages of having the latest Apple operating system, including improved security in other areas, make it important to upgrade your Macs to High Sierra if you haven't already done so. Wordle also reported on a password-stealing vulnerability that he discovered in High Sierra and previous versions of macOS. Each version of macOS includes a keychain that stores passwords saved by Safari, Mail, and other applications. The keychain is supposed to protect your passwords, and is only supposed to reveal them to the correct application as needed, or to the user via the keychain access app. However, the vulnerability found by Wordle could allow malware to export all of your keychain passwords in plain text. Wordle responsibly disclosed the vulnerability to Apple, and he has not made any exploit code available to the public. On October 5th, Apple released a supplemental security update to address the issue in High Sierra. However, Apple has not patched the vulnerability in previous versions of macOS. The best way to avoid getting your keychain passwords stolen is to upgrade to High Sierra and be cautious about what you download. No, not that blue born. In mid-September, a company that focuses on Internet of Things, or IoT, security, published information about serious Bluetooth vulnerabilities that affect a wide range of Apple and other devices. Several old models of iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Apple TV that cannot be upgraded to the latest version of iOS or tvOS remain vulnerable to exploitation. Apple has not announced any plans to release updates for affected devices. If your device is new enough to upgrade to iOS 11 or tvOS 11, be sure to check for updates to make sure you have the latest version. One of the most intriguing attacks that came to light in September is called Dolphin Attack. Researchers at a Chinese university found that it was possible with popular speech recognition systems to play back spoken commands in an inaudibly high pitch. Thus, it's possible to execute commands on an affected device without anyone being able to hear the command being issued. The attack works against Apple devices with Siri, Google Now, Microsoft's Cortana, and the Amazon Echo. Depending on a victim's device, a successful dolphin attack could allow an attacker to do things such as cause a device to visit a malicious website, spy on the victim, impersonate the victim, or cause a denial of service by enabling airplane mode. For users of iOS devices, the best mitigation against such attacks is to disable the Siri voice activation feature.
A report by Duo Security indicates that a surprisingly high number of Macs may be running outdated firmware, which could leave them open to serious vulnerabilities of a similar nature to Thunderstrike and Sonic Screwdriver. Of the 73,000 in-production Macs that Duo's researchers tested, overall 4.2% were not running the expected firmware version based on the hardware model and OS version. Certain models of Macs were far more likely than average to be running outdated firmware. The report specifically calls out several top offenders, including the 21.5-inch iMac late 2015, of which 43% of systems were running incorrect firmware versions. This was followed by three models of the MacBook Pro late 2016, with rates of deviance between 35% and 25%. Duo Security has released a command line app called Effigy that they say can help users assess the state of their Mac's firmware. Incidentally, Apple also seems to recognize the importance of Macs receiving the latest firmware updates. The newly released macOS High Sierra checks for firmware updates weekly, according to an Apple spokesperson. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and share it with your friends and family to help them stay protected. Are you keeping your Mac protected? Intego has been keeping Macs safe since 1997, and now you can get a free trial of Intego's Mac Premium Bundled X9 at Intego.com. As our way of saying thank you for subscribing and sharing this video, we're offering you 50% off when you use the promo code IntegoYT at checkout.